My roof clips are all installed. It's time to actually start building the roof rack. Hello and welcome to Van of Action, where we're taking a 2018 Dodge Promaster van and turning it into a family camper. Today we're talking about the roof rack, and if you're thinking of doing this, you want to watch, because this all in, this roof rack was less than $200. Along the way, if you find this useful, please give us a like and a share, and by all means, subscribe. And we really enjoy comments, so please, if you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. Let's get started. I don't see this as being that big a job. It's going to be a fair bit of drilling and fitting, but at the end of the day, it's only four pieces of aluminum in order to mount my first solar panel. And initially, because I can't get parts, I was able to scrounge up from a neighbor one MC4 cable, so I can only install one, one panel to begin with. But I want to test the system, so that's what I'm shooting for today. To put all four or all three uh, solar panels on would be a total of six pieces of metal. So I'm going to be almost there anyway, but let's get started. I may be able to get the whole rack done in one afternoon if things go really well. The first thing I did was take my long length for one side and put it up on top of the clips. This is a 1 inch by 2 inch by 1 8 inch aluminum square channel. The same as the, uh, the roof clips, same width as the roof clips. Then it was just a question of determining how much of an overhang I wanted at the front and the back. The man I purchased this from cut it off to length for me nice and square at each end. I just have to get it set up there the way I want it. Then I very carefully marked the back and the bottom of the tube so that I knew when I put it back up on the roof full of holes, I'd have it oriented correctly. And then it was just simply a question of marking where each bracket was. After that, it's down to the shop. This is the job I wanted the drill press for. This was the operation I knew it would be easier with a drill press. It's going to be a little bit more setup time. It's possible, it would be possible to drill these holes by hand if I had to, <clears throat> but I was hoping not to have to. I want to drill a hole right through from the, the whole depth of this two inch profile tubing so I can bolt it to the clip. Now this tubing happens to be the same width as the roof bracket material that I used. And so in order to get the holes I want to drill, I can use the same template that I used for the holes. I've marked the edge of the clip. I just have to line this template up with the edge of the clip. It's just, this is just so magical the way it's working out for me. Hold the, the template so it's flat and straight. Mark those two holes. And now those holes are going to be right in the middle of the tube, which is what I want. Right smack in the middle of the tube. They're also going to line up with the brackets, the, the holes from the brackets as well. So it's going to look, it's going to look so professional. So professional. Holy cow. Anyway, so now what I want to do is, just like anything, I've got, uh, I've got 10 clips, two holes per clip. That's 20 holes. No big deal. I want to just make sure that I get everything set nice and square and straight so when I drill the holes, they go straight. This is going to make life so easy for me if I just take the time to do it right. That's what I'm going to do right now. I hope that um, through all of this, that if I'm sharing anything with you or if you're picking up anything at all, it's that this isn't really very hard stuff. I've never done anything like this before in my life, but it's, it's not hard to do if you approach it one step at a time and you're not constantly chasing your tail. So I'm going to very carefully remove these clamps. Oh, 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 oh. perfect. Okay. So do the same at this end. I got the 10 holes drilled. I carried it back out and I put it back up on the roof, placed it where I wanted to place it. I've got a clamp there now. Now I have to drill the holes through the top channel and through the bracket so I can bolt them together. I'm having this internal debate though about how far I want to go with this assembly because I want to put cross pieces in as well to support the uh, solar panels. 
And I was thinking that it'd be a lot easier to drill those holes. Those like those cross pieces are going to be held in with brackets that have to be drilled through that channel as well. I'm thinking it'd be a lot easier to drill those holes on the drill press, but I'm not sure just how we're going to do that. I'm going to get up, I'm going to get up and, and uh, start bolting these into place, or at least drilling these into place, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Probably a fun I can't think of an easy way to film this, and it really doesn't matter. It's not that much to it. I've got the top rail with the, two, with the holes pre-drilled in it on top of the bracket, the correct spacing from the end. And now it's just a matter of lining these, these two faces up together, clamping it, and then drilling using these two holes as pilot holes to drill holes through the bracket and putting some bolts in. I want this connection to be perfectly tight. I may have to loosen off these a little bit. This is where the wiggle room is going to be initially. I want to have this nice and tight all the way down on every connection and the cross members, I want them to fit together nice and square as well. I've noticed that the, the railing tends, it appears to be leaning out a little bit on the top, which is probably a function of the shape of the, of the roof. And if that's the case, I'm going to pull it in square and then cinch it down tight on the bracket as I build. So for now, it's just a question of pre-drilling these, drilling these holes where they're pre-drilled. And I think I'm going to put three or four bolts in this side just to hold it together for now. Okay, the, there's one. Okay, the, there's one side on. I've got all the holes drilled between the top rail and the bracket. I've got bolts in every one of them, but I've only put nuts on a couple to hold it together. I, the more I think about it, I'm going to do the other side now, same way, and then I'm going to cut my four cross members in and get those all brought together, get the framework brought together before I tie it all down to the clips. I think that makes more sense. That's the goal. Next side. Brian, I loosened up. I may be getting carried away with this. I don't know, but I do know that when this piece comes up inside here, as it's going to, it needs to be as square as possible. If one side, if the, if the outside is leaning away, it's going to be an issue for the corner, for the joint. I don't want to start cutting everything crooked. So what I've done is I've used this strap to try and... I've loosened off the, the brackets on the roof pins and used this strap to pull them closer together. Now, there's no way to regulate the way you're pulling them. So you got to use a little judgment here because one side might come more than the other for whatever reason. So I just want to get them relatively close to being square. That'll give me the, uh, a really good idea for the length of the cross member. And I'll cut that and then we'll see where we go from there.